And we are live. We're live on Facebook. Just seeing my feed to make sure I can see everything. Yes, and we are live. Hello, hello everyone, it's Anastasia Grace here. And I am going to start my room on the clubhouse as well. If you guys ha have clubhouse app, you can listen to this weekly show in there as well. As you might know, this is a weekly show. We go at the same time right here on uh, spiritual events directory page and we go for an hour we talk all things love love relationships and please let me know if you can hear me if you can see me uh, I just want to make to check if I can see the comments give me a second to settle in And I'm going to, to share the stream as well. Perfect. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We are talking all things love and relationships. And last time, last uh, week, we started talking about shadow parts of ourselves that inhibit our love and um, do basically create those uh, trouble situations where we can't be ourselves, we can't be connected to our spirit, our, our true self, our, our full self-expression. And today I want to take you through seven chakras and connection uh, in your couple, in your relationship, how does it show up uh, when you are connected through seven chakras? And what does it mean if you are not connected, when your uh, chakras are blocked? And how does it affect your relationship? How does it affect your communication? And um, how does it affect the way you are and the way you attract other people? Uh, loving relationships or not so loving relationships right depending on um depending on your chakras uh, how they they are functioning if you are um, fully in okay great i can see comments amazing amazing welcome 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 deborah kim uh kavida wonderful cassidy uh, thank you so much, and I am going to um, start. It's all working. Perfect. Thank you guys for being here. My name is Anastasia Grace. I am a master coach, healer, practitioner, Akash Krikis practitioner, and today's show, I will go through each chakra uh, explaining and sharing uh, what are the those power power inhibitors in each chakras and how they can uh, in the, um, destroy your connections or affect it negatively and also uh, we will do an energy healing we will do a group healing where it's very powerful healing all you need to do is basically just say yes to receive it and you will receive it connected to your own um, source connecting connecting to your own uh, power into your own masters and teachers. Hi Josephine from Tasmania, wonderful, thank you for joining. Uh, last week I was talking a little bit about uh, healings and energy healing, energy healings, and how you need to be mindful of what do you actually receive and who do you receive from. And I always work with clients energy with their permission basically you are divinely connected you have your own channel you have your own uh this 
the spirit and soul energy that comes through you and once we connect it once we call that in you receive your own healings right and i i act basically just as, as a facilitator so that's what we're going to do today wonderful so welcome 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 let's talk about chakras and I will briefly go through what is it. Um, I am sure lots of people nowadays know what ch chakras are and how they affect us and what does it mean uh, when we talk about chakras. Seven chakras, main chakras. We do have many more, uh, but those are kind of main energetic centers and they're very much connected to our consciousness level, to our um, physical body, and our energetics and our energy levels and very much affect how we are and show up in in this world on everyday basis. Uh, base chakra uh, is our root chakra. Uh, is responsible for survival, for uh, being here and now, being connected to this earth, being okay with uh, living on this planet, being uh, grounded, being earthy. Uh, it's the chakra um, related to our wealth and deservability, the sense of worthiness in, in regards to not the divine worth, worth, which is spiritual worth, but the sense of like, what we deserve here as humans. Uh, our second chakra uh, be beneath our uh, navel is our energetic center. It's connected to our life force energy, our sexual energy, and the connections throughout on this on this planet is a very important chakra, which is quite often blocked. And when people come for uh, healing or questions, hi Kylie from New Zealand, and we are talking today for everyone who's joining. We are talking about love relationships and connections, connection uh, with your beloved through all seven chakras. How does it look like? How does it feel like? What does it mean to be? Uh, connected having this beautiful divine incredible incredibly powerful relationship with your partner through seven uh, chakra connections and what what are the blocks and what um what are the hurts, pains that can be still sitting there that, uh, is, that is prohibiting you from uh, receiving that full connection? So those base, base chakras, two lower chakras are very, very important when it comes to love and relationships, right? Because the, the, the base, base one, the root chakra is linked to your deservability and worth as a human being. And second chakra is our sexual center and our connection center and, and a, a lot linked to our expression of our life force energy as a human being here on this planet. So if you have any blocks or traumas there, they need to be looked in straight away, right? So they're, they're, those are the, the first ones where we start our healing journey. And um, I, in the end of our conversation, we'll have an energy healing process where I will guide you through and you don't have to close your eyes. You don't have to go into meditative state. All you need to do is be in your receiving um, place and give consent and give permission to receive the healing energy from your own source, your own div divine um, part of you, of your soul. So that's that's what we're going to do for today. Um, if we do have time, I will get someone to jump on with me on a healing one-on-one. -on -one. Um, last time we had a, a bit of a te technical difficulties and um, then we just had a private session one-on-one, -on -one, which went, went wonderful. So uh, base chakra, second chakra, third chakra. I don't go into... Uh, complicated uh, long names. I just name them one, one to three, and um, 
basically you just need to know the location and what it means. Uh, your power chakra is around your solar plexus and uh, kind of in the middle of your in your middle of your body is responsible for your willpower, for your sense of self, for your ego, for your um, movement forward in, in, with intention you expressing yourself through your own uh, desire and will to be who you are and it's also responsible for your boundaries for your energetic boundaries your relationship boundaries your that sense of self uh, that chakra is essential right in relationships or uh, in in business in um leaving your full potential because that ch chakra if it's blocked it doesn't allow us to 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 move forward to drive ourselves towards our desires heart chakra openness trust love connection to our uh, emotions a human heart and also we have a portal to connect to our spiritual heart throat chakra is our expression self-expression uh, this here we could have some low self-esteem blocks when we're not able to say or we say critical things towards ourselves so uh, the, like the our full self-expression without suppression or adjustment to other people third uh, um third eye chakra which is our vision our trust our sense of um sense of self in a higher understanding of the world a vision towards the future and trust in ourselves um yeah connecting to our own truth and uh, crown chakra this is our spiritual um spiritual connection to the to the divine to who we are as a as a spirit so let's look at the blocks let's look first in the uh, symptoms that could show up in your relationships and try to identify where uh, you might have certain blocks because any kind of awareness uh, will start dissolving We'll start dissolving the problem. We'll start dissolving the, the the healing. It's just as simple as having awareness, uh, sending it into forgiveness, into understanding, acceptance, and also uh, setting the intention to clear. And you know, you, you might not be fully be able to clear yourself, but already understanding and awareness of self why do you do things the way you do why do you behave the way you do is um it's it's a huge step towards your own healing your own power and understanding of other people as well um i hope i can see everybody's comments uh, just give me a shout uh, if you can hear me see me um i just want to make sure that i see everybody's comments wonderful so uh common blocks on ru chakra if your root chakra is overactive, you will feel ungrounded, insecure, materialistic or greedy, resistance to change. If it's underactive, it's lacking a sense of being at home and secure anyway. You will feel codependent, unable to get into your body, being in your body, being here. Fears of abandonment are sitting in our uh, root chakra. In relationship, the blocks in your root chakra will show up as a constant fear for partner's safety like, and also lack of energy, lack of activity in relationship, lack of this oomph, lack of fireworks, right? Oh, and hyperactivity, uh, Deborah says it sounds like me, hyperactivity in uh, this uh, root chakra will actually create, you know, very energetic 
not sorry how can i explain not so major but maybe a little bit like explosive or loud uh, elements of the relationship i was sharing last time we in my uh, in the in the previous show um in my relationship my partner and i in human design where we come together all of our centers are um become closed uh, like they become defined and only uh, root only the base is undefined so there's a lot of energies flowing so uh, the in our in <laughs> relationship is very intense energetically that's what how it would feel right because um that's uh, that's your uh, base chakra root chakra sacral sacral if sacral is underactive you will experience yourself as over emotional very quick to attach and invest into others uh, it, you might be attracted to drama <laughs> and lacking personal boundaries and um, if it's underactive you feel the opposite uh stiff unemotional closed off lacking self-worth self-esteem might might attract an abusive relationship especially sexual abuse um any kind of like blocks in sacral 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 chakra will get a response from uh the opposite sex right uh, so keeping it keeping this chakra flowing energetically and pure it's probably one of um one of the most important things that we can do Be when i work with uh chakra so those two uh sacral and root chakra in regards to our sense of self our sense of safety our sense of connection to other people and being okay and being happy being worthy being being abundant being wealthy uh, uh, and kind of not to attract any kind of uh, physical abuse or emotional abuse those chakras are essential to clear and 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 cleanse and to purify and yes they are very very important if uh, how the the how is the block in the sacral chakra can co show up in the relationship when your sex is ordinary like when it's plain when it's lifeless when you have lack of uh, playfulness when or when you rigid to stiff uh, just coldness um, in in your sexuality this kind of annoyance uh not connection you when you're feeling disconnection on a sexual level so that's your uh sacral chakra and uh, intimacy and sexuality is extremely important in relationships uh, many couples that i work with actually have Sex, sexless marriages and i've seen a lot of a lot of couples that after a few years they lose that sexual connection and uh that sense of you know freedom and intimacy and playfulness and openness and enjoying the, themselves and treating sex like uh, something delicious and to uh, replenishing and you and sex becomes either rare or boring or uh, becomes like a chore like i'm tired i don't want to do this why do i have to do this uh, or how they how do i pump it up and like we work we, with the couples i work a lot in that in that area um because as i said before this is your life force energy you cannot live on your mental energy all your life we do live in our heads too much and you know in quite often i see 
um, in relationships like we are wonderful partners we understand each other each other we uh we have great conversations we don't argue we are just best friends so right it's all a mental and heart uh connection however there is no sex we just don't feel it or don't need it or we forget about it it's not a priority so there's no connection on a, a sexual sacral chakra and you can't live all your life in your mental field in in, in your um top chakras you gotta be connected you gotta let the energy flow through your whole body and we have been preoccupied with the mind for far too long solar plexus solar plexus chakra when it's overactive it's domineering it could be aggressive it could be perfectionist uh, it could be critical to self or others or underactive passive indecisive timid lacking self uh, self-control and i was i mentioned before lack of boundaries you you might feel that you don't get your way um you are not allowed to do what you want to do you choose to do and you always have to um you know bend yourself backwards or people take advantage of you that's your power chakras and your victim mentality would sit here because you just don't have clear boundaries so obviously you cannot express them just be because you don't have that sense of uh clear pure energetic boundaries and you don't your partner in, in you you don't treat yourself as equals as um, as sovereign beings it's it's this play of uh, victim abuser in the couple it might show up a block in the solar plexus chakra will show up in aggression irritation jealousy uh, control desire to dominate and over emotional arguments a lot of anger suppressed anger sadness will sit in the solar plexus chakra and because this is our sense of self right this how sandy is asking how do i remove the past thoughts well um Sandy, when you are releasing the past, and it's a great question, uh, when you're releasing the past, you need to work not only again with your mind, but also with your emotional body. Yeah, and we are now talking about energetic centers. So clearing energetic centers, uh, healing, clearing emotional emotional body and with the mind it's actually the easiest one to do because once you train your mind to listen to you that you are in charge not your mind is in charge you can let it go if your thoughts are repetitive about the hurt about the wounds of the rejection abandonment or betrayal injustice humiliation um mistrust and so on and so forth it means that it's still sitting in your emotional body emotional body is like our inner child this is like that part of us that is has no logic it just has the emotional memory right it just it it remembers the feelings and that's why when you're trying to process it logically through your mind it doesn't go beyond here you logically understand that it's about time to let go and forgive and move on but here something inside of you is still uh you know like chew, chewing on it right so um, doing this kind of healing, clearing work. And I do have a program that starts on 14th of February where we go, we're going to go into five main core wounds, uh, rejection, abandonment, betrayal, injustice and humiliations. And we're actually going to go back in time into your inner child because that's where it all starts. You think you, you got hurt at the age of, say, 30. In reality, it, this pattern actually got locked in say the age of one and two picked up from the parents then it got uh, it's like 
it's like a domino, right? Uh, those Gelstadt got locked in throughout your life on your timeline. And it had a second episode, at, say, at the age of five, then at the age of seven, and then at the age of 30, you really, really get hurt because you already have this imprint of this trauma. So we're going to go back in time and heal it. So that program is going to be available. If you would like to heal the past and clear your wounds, please join uh, me on the 14th of February and I will post the link here. Uh, Tina is asking how to align chakras. Today, we are actually going to do the healing um, on self, self-love self and uh, purifying uh, your 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 field and your chakras and also there are plenty of meditations and processes where you tune in into each of your chakras see where the blocks are feel where the still where p where it's all unresolved where it's still um uh, happening within within you and with your presence with your awareness those blocks and your willingness first what needs to happen is that your desire to let go uh, your desire to heal um your 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 desire to overcome that uh, quite often why it's not happening as as fast as we would like to is that parts of us are still hanging on to uh, those pains to those wounds and they really don't want to um let go right okay um so carrying on with uh, our chakras. Sh uh, heart chakra is, when it's overactive, it's um, it feels like loving. Uh, the relationship happens in a clingy, suffocating way, like you engulfed, right? So the fear of engulfment, uh, which is um, abundophobics. That's where it's sitting, uh, lacking sense of self in the relationship. So again, the, the the boundaries are not there, and or underactive when you feel that you or your partner or someone you know called distance, feeling feeling feelings of loneliness, um, grudgeful. That's uh, resentment. It will sit in underactive um, heart chakra in your relationships it might show up as constant complaining resentment criticism fault find finding not accepting uh, a partner conditional love it's like i only will love you when you're like this if you're not like that i will not love you a misunderstanding of your partner of who they are um and not seeing them fully in 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 how how they are not seeing their strengths and weaknesses light and shadow uh, their inner child and their faults because that falls under the con unconditional love unconditional acceptance and when you are connected through that you can truly and fully see see your partner and you are in your in full trust um and being okay being okay with what is throat chakra blocks on the throat chakra uh, when it's overactive you could be overly talkative and unable to listen uh, quite often highly critical verbally abusive condescending those people that speak before they actually think right we just they just blur out stuff and not taking time to filter out to to soften for other people so that harshness is overactive through chakra underactive introverted shy sp difficulty speaking the truth uh, unable to express own needs and uh, difficulty in speaking up for for them for themselves this is what i want this is what i need um how it can uh, show up in relationships in your connection is disrespect and also 
like a desire to change your partner um, through criticism <laughs> and or a failure to express own feelings or emotions. When you shut down, when you don't speak, when you're stonewalling, when you are disconnecting, withdrawing, uh, in you know, you have silent treatments, that is your uh, block in a throat chakra. Because we can be heard and we can speak in a way that other people don't hurt when we're speaking our truth that's the um that's what i've seen a lot of people having a hard time grasping is that you can speak your boundaries you can speak your needs and your desires or express your opinions uh without altering it without changing it without accommodating people without like bending yourself and, and censoring and filtering yourself if you are speaking your truth because then you hold yourself as a sovereign and you standing in your truth at the same time holding other people as sovereign beings that are responsible for their own feelings they are responsible for their own own emotions and the way they process things and see things and feel things it's their job um it's not um it's not about constantly accommodating everyone it's about speaking the truth and knowing the truth the the tone of truth third eye um, so that chakra, if it's overactive, you feel like out of touch with reality, you lacking good judgment, unable to focus, prone to hallucinations. So you're kind of leaving your own world, in your own dream world. You're not fully connected to what the reality of things around you and if it's underactive that's opposite rigid thinking closed off to new ideas um, disconnected distrustful distrustful to other people or distrustful to inner voice and you the voice of your intuition anxious and also clinging to the past or to the future so the person who lives in their mind a lot right rather than being fully activated and living in their body and in the physical in the spiritual realm in the emotional in the realm of of energy around you how it will show up in relationships is lack of trust if we have trust blocked it's in our third eye double checking um controlling not basically not trusting checking and rechecking like running thoughts in your mind constantly playing out different scenarios uh you know you could be living in constantly planning the future living in the future or running playing back the tape of the past and what it also will happen is the lack of support for each other dreams and visions is you know how often have you seen that in relationships where you know it's my way or highway uh no we can't like why do you do that why you want to go and go and study you why do you want to do this 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 work this job why are you making these choices this this is stupid um you shouldn't be doing it it's it's like not seeing other people as uh, individuals and also as sacred beings that are life force energy expressing itself in this world and not respecting that and uh, finally uh, crown chakra when it's overactive you could be addicted to spirituality right living too much in this world of woo -woo meditations ascension just not being grounded not being here not living fully this life but kind of always wanting to dissolve into abyss and being out there with the divine at all times 
forgetting that you are actually a spiritual being in living human experience. And if it's underactive, not very open to spirituality and unable to set goals, lacking directions, not knowing your own purpose, because this is also our divine purpose. We are guided through our spirit towards where we're going, who we are uh, as expression of our true self. And in uh, a couple, it could show up as lack of awareness of spiritual meaning of the relationship. And this, is, this show is all about about the spiritual meaning of the relationship, the connection through all of you, all of your centers, all of your expressions of you in the relationship. And uh, seeing the relationship as a path, as a spiritual path, because that's where you're most tested. That's where you show up the most. That's where you see yourself the most in the relationship, in the intimate relationship with an, another person. All of your fears, all of your limitations, all of your insecurities, all of your woundings will surface for you to heal when you are in the relationship or you're tempting one or you're dating if uh, there's no connection on the uh, uh, crown chakra you don't grow together like you have no motivation of growing together spiritually and exploring yourself on, on on other realms and in in other expressions so how does it feel when it's actually activated and you're connected on the root chakra building wealth together feeling earthy feeling here and now feeling connected to the earth um feeling like you walk this earth together and you're feeling safe and supported by by mother earth but this life that all of your animal instincts you are aware of them and you understand that the fears that survival fears that they come up they belong to the physical body they belong to that part and seeing your partner you know not always idealistically through the the uh, glasses like the prism of the mind or are you spiritual you need to be only always perfect and and uh, benevolent but also understanding that they are animals they have they live in an animal body they do have a nervous system understanding how it functions so root chakra connection and having energy between you intensity of the emotions Second, second, sacral chakra, second chakra. Um, if you are connected together, there's a lot of joy and pleasure and taste for love, like creativity, sexuality, playfulness, um, intimacy, openness in the way you are in your body. So here, those two chakras are all about being connected and okay and very relaxed and uh, feeling amazing as you true beings in the physical body. In uh, the solar plexus chakra, when you are connected, when your relationship is uh, balanced in the solar plexus chakra, you feel confident, you feel protected in your relationship, you feel confident, you feel good about yourself, uh, it's a le le level of self-esteem, self-respect, you feel respected, you feel seen and you are feeling free to take any actions in your in your life you are not burdened by oh well i'm you know i'm married with two kids then i can't do anything uh, or i can't al allow myself to do this i can't allow myself to do that you feel r respected and free and then you make your choices right because yes you can you are free but also you have priorities in life and if family is your priority then you you make different choices in life you um feel purposeful and moving forward you driven you can um discuss your goals freely and also 
your boundaries are respected and you feel like um, you understand where a person's boundaries are and you're not e e jumping on them, you're not in, in um, inhibitors. Hey, Jackie, hello. Um, great to meet you. We are um, going for another 20 minutes. We're going to go into the healing really, really soon. I'm just going to finish talking about how does it, this relationship uh, feels when it's there's connection on all seven chakras. So this power chakra is, the, I guess, the most important one because we do have a lot of power struggles in our relationships like no i said this you didn't do that there's a lot of blame and complaint happens when the power chakra is unbalanced so it's a uh, you know it's it's like a science of being an individual and mature and sovereign being and and also seeing your partner as a mature sovereign being and interacting together like co-creating, co-relating without push and pull and without being upset that, you know, you, you have to uh, give in here. You understand that you sometimes you give in or it's like a dance, right? So that's all sitting in our power chakra when it's, when it's balanced. Heart chakra self explanatory you are open, you are confident, you're loving, you are forgiving. The most important, you're forgiving. you able to love unconditionally. You experience love, acceptance, joy. You feel like you are accepted. You feel like uh, you bring joy to that other person. And you can show up show any parts of you to your beloved you know weak parts or, or strong parts your inner child your insecurities you will be loved unconditionally and you are able to love unconditionally uh, that person the generosity generosity of the heart that's what i teach a lot when i work with couples is that the generosity of the heart will solve so many problems in the relationship there's, you know, there's no limit to the amount of love and forgiveness that and compassion, compassion that we can give to each other. It's only mind that limits it, but the heart has no limit. Um, it's not that like, oh, who, who loves someone more? Um, it's that love is limitless. Um, on throat chakra, respect, appreciation, status, you feel like you can talk about anything to be heard. You actually hear your partner in your communication. There's a lot of communication, um, you know, when it's balanced, when it's efficient, effective communication, that's your connection through throat chakra and it's balanced. Um, you can say what you need to say, what you choose to say, and you know you will be heard and you will be respected, you will be understood. And sometimes, you know, uh, it, it takes longer. Uh, those conversations take longer. Um, a, and it's okay. So some difficult conversations are not supposed to be, you know, you just, I said it and you heard me and that's it. And the uh, discussion is over. Uh, complicated, difficult conversations take uh, skills take tact and um, nonviolent communication is one of the most beautiful and effective tools to learn when you are um, uh, communicating with your partner. Um, third eye chakra, when you are connected on your third eye, you feel that you see the future, that you can express your dreams, you can express your vision and you will be understood. Your dreams are not going to be suppressed or criticized, that you can build uh, this future together, your your shared vi vision together, you know, and it could be flexible. Sometimes one day you dream about um, uh, you, you 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 dream about the pic white picket fences, and to the next time you can f f dream about climbing Everest. And it's freedom, freedom of being and expressing who you are in that connection, understanding and trusting each other, trusting that your partner has your best interest in mind, um, trusting that your uh, relationship is 
guided that you are here for a reason together and not judging, not overthinking, not criticizing, not running those thoughts, but being guided more by your heart and your spirit and uh, having this open uh, third eye chakra connection. And crown chakra is when you feel that your spirit, your relationship with your beloved is spiritual. That um, hi, Rose. Uh, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. And. Uh, spiritual connection through the crown chakra with your beloved, with your partner, it gives you the sense of that there's something way beyond that you understand, that there is this, the, there is like this unknown soul connection that is the vibrations is uh, are so much more, uh, so much higher and it's hard to understand it, that you're guided and you're meant to be. And that's where you can experience that this is your soulmate or it's, it's your twin flame um, or it's just, you know, karmic relationship. We just need to be here. That's, that's, that's all there is. And um, you, you you stay in that relationship you trust it despite any things that are happening in the physical world in the in the world of, of the animal or in the world of the nervous system or in the, in the world of the unhealed wounds your spiritual guidance will will help you to get through that and and heal and use your relationship as your healing journey as your spiritual journey as your evolution journey of evolution you might have feelings of unity peacefulness sometimes even telepathy with with your partner right finishing each other's sentences or calling each other at the same time it's like oh i just i just thought of you i was actually calling you right now the trust loyalty sense of serenity inspiration and um sense of completeness a sense of like you are here your home and having higher sense of awareness uh, when you are connected to you connected with your partner on your uh crown chakra okay wonderful so we have um a few more minutes left and i would love to take you through the healing process as i mentioned in the beginning i or oh, what happens in our healing is that you give permission to your own source to your own uh spirit energy to flow down and clear um, any blocks and we're going to be working on self-love because self-love is actually the essence of it all when you connect to your true self connect to your deepest self everything else starts um showing up in your in your life everything else follows so connection to self is the most important and the sense of deep love honor and respect and dignity is something that we sometimes are disconnected from so if you would like to receive the healing all you need to do is say yes say saying yes to giving a consent you allowing your uh, spirit guides your divine self to work with you as you might know uh, other beings and even your higher self will not interfere it's only gentle guidance so when you are looking for help support for healing you need to request it you need to ask for it you need to say yes the our a free will is number one rule of the universe that we have a free will so if you give if if you would like to receive this healing just say yes you don't need to close your eyes you can if you would like to um, sit down and relax and receive and imagine or you know it will just work just as well if you're walking around the house and washing dishes and um, or driving a car so I invite you to get cozy and get comfortable and close your eyes and go within. You can focus on your heartbeat or you can, or you can focus on your breath. And when you're ready, I invite you to take three conscious deep breaths. 
Starting now. Take breath into your belly, allowing the breath to flow. Okay, and we are activating the energy healing. If you would like to receive that, simply say yes and take a deep breath. How does this healing work? Source God universe with its infinite love, wisdom, intelligence, and healing abilities, power, and energy connects to you at all levels and does divine and in infinite healings on you. So let's do this. Let's ask, connect to the light. Visualize the light above your head, pouring down like a waterfall, pouring down to the top of your head, pouring down into your third eye, down your ears, into your throat, eyes, mouth, shoulders, shoulders along your upper back, down your spine, to into your lower back. Let it pour down into your heart space, your power chakra, belly, your belly, and down into your root chakra. And allowing to, to flow down your hips, knees, ankles, and toes. Let it pour down into the core of Mother Earth, absorbing the energy from the above and below and allowing your body to receive this infinite love into your heart. Feel the energy of Mother Earth and the divine spirit energy connecting to your heart energy and then allow it to spread into every cell in your body feel your field expanding around you let it spread into your energy field and then expand it further into your home into your area into your country and to your planet in your universe and infinite and beyond surrounding yourself with a white light we connect to the higher dimension to the planet itself to the sacred sacred sites on the planet we connect to jesus buddha and anyone else you resonate with we're going to stay connected with the source throughout this healing now we have all the support and healing available to us now do you give a permission to all the light beings and energies to do what they know to do for your highest good starting from now just say yes if you do take a deep belly breath and be present with this energy You're going to get exactly what is needed for your highest good. And usually deeper and even better than you thought or expected. So would you like your higher self now to choose what to work on during the session today to create its priority list and do automatically this energy healing to each item on the list if you'd like that, say yes. Good. If there's anything stopping you from receiving or releasing the maximum, would you like to clear that? Just say yes. Good. If there is any part of you that is resisting, sabotaging, interfering, getting in the way, or even of afraid of all the great things that can happen during today's session, would you like to set it aside? Just say yes. And so remaining underneath this waterfall, pouring down from the source, they will continue to raise your vibration higher and higher. I will say these affirmations and if you'd like to receive them, just say yes. I have everything I need within myself. Yes. Today, I choose me. Say yes if you want to receive. I choose to stop apologizing for being me. 
Yes. I let go of negative self-talk. Yes. I believe in me. Yes. My life is a place of happiness and love. Yes. I say no with ease. Yes. I am not my past. If you'd like to receive that, say yes. I am growing and learning each and every day. Yes. I lovingly embrace all my fears. Yes. I am deserving of happiness, love, peace, freedom, money, and anything else I desire. If you'd like that, just say yes. I accept myself unconditionally. Yes. I respect my accomplishments and celebrate my successes. Yes. The only approval I will ever need is mine. Yes. I radiate love, peace, and happiness. Yes. I am loved. If you'd like to receive that, just say yes. I am free to make my own choices and decisions. Yes. I accept others as they are and they in turn accept me as I am. Yes. I radiate confidence, self-respect, and inner harmony. Say yes. I honor my inner voice. Yes. I am safe. I am supported. I am protected. Yes. I am never alone. The universe supports me in every step I take. Yes. I choose to be grateful for all that I have. Yes. My voice is valuable and my opinion matters. Yes. My mind is filled with loving, healthy, positive, and prosperous thoughts. Yes. I consciously release the past and live only in the present. Yes. Self-love comes to me with ease. Yes. My body is healthy, my mind is brilliant, my heart is at peace, my soul is tranquil. If you would like to receive that, say yes. Take a nice deep breath. Would you like to be always feel shielded, protected, grounded, empowered in your heart, in the light of your power and connected to the source? If you'd like that energy, say yes. Now and forever to clear everything that is in the way of you being able to receive, connect and take full advantage of this healing energy. If you'd like to clear that, say yes. To clear past life and ancestral karma around self-love and self-acceptance. If you'd like this healing energy healing to clear that, just say yes. To share your gifts and talents and abilities with the world so you can play your part in creating this beautiful heaven on the earth. Say yes. 
to be in your heart space and connect with the powerful greed around the planet, connect with the energies that are for your highest good and to stay grounded to the core of Mother Earth and stay connected at all, to the source at all times, say yes. Always have forgiveness as your default setting, always being in your power as your default setting, always sticking to what your guidance is telling you to do. If it means saying no to someone or having a strong boundary with someone or not letting someone to drain your energy, not allowing someone to take it down, advantage of you, if you would like to stay in that beautiful energy, say yes. If you'd like to share this healing with your parents, ancestors, past lives, share with your children, grandchildren, and future lives, say yes. Breathe, take a deep breath in, feel the energy flowing through you. Good, we are asking the source to deepen this healing, to integrate, to asking for something great to happen, and to set this whole healing on autopilot with ease and grace. Connect to the source and say thank you, thank you, thank you. And come back to now, come back to present, and feel healed, feel safe, feel energized feel connected to yourself, feel, feel good in your body, feel feeling good about who you are, being collected and blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will I'd like to invite you to our next show, next um, next live stream which is going to be on wednesday the same time and i will be doing more healings or akashic readings uh, for people on this live stream and we're gonna go into continue with the subject of um shadow archetypes that inhibit our and um inhibit our powers and our true self and don't let us connect powerfully with our beloveds um hi Nitika. and if you would like to uh join the program to release past wounds past uh, traumas uh, that we carry from the childhood and sometimes from past lives uh, please join me i have shared the link anastashagrace.com slash life and we are going we're going to be doing the release through six weeks going into five core wounds of rejection abandonment healing uh, rejection abandonment i'm still in this i'm still in this space so i'm actually having really difficulty speaking right now um when i'm connecting to um the higher realms it's becoming very difficult to be in the physical body <laughs> um yes we'll be uh, releasing uh, wounds and what it does what i've seen uh with my clients incredible journeys attracting love uh five changing careers um you know finding clients incredible money abundance coming through when we release those wounds and hurts from the past it's it's magical actually thank you so much for being with me till next time it's anastasia grace here and uh, follow me on instagram facebook and i'm also on clubhouse anastasia grace much love to you all and drink lots of water and take lots of breath and if you want to continue receiving this energy just imagine yourself being under a energetic waterfall it's been beautiful being with you thank you thank you thank you